On number seven, we're given vectors of the form x, hz plus 9x, z, where x, y, and z are rational. Make sure I'm, yeah, okay, I can see that. Um, and we want to show that this is a member of the space of vectors um, with three components, all rational. Now, you might have to read the definition of that space to understand that that's what I just said, but the bottom line is that the three components all have to be rational. Okay, well, if x, y, and z are rational, clearly x is rational and z is rational, so we only have to test <coughs> to see whether hz plus 9x is rational. Well, hz plus 9x is rational since rationals are closed under addition and multiplication. But we might want to say just a little bit more about rational numbers. So, uh, but that's it. And it then follows that all three of these are rational, so that this is in the space that consists of triples of rational numbers. Okay? Uh, but let's make sure we understand what this means. Okay, you got hz plus 9x. Okay? Uh, x and z are rational. So x equals, let's say, p1 over q1, and y equals p2 over q2. Because remember, a rational number is basically a fraction with integers, right? p1, q1, p2, and q2 are integers. Okay, so... hz plus 9x is equal to 8 times p1 over q1 plus 9 times p2 over q2 equals 8p1 over q1 plus 9p2 over q2. And that equals what? That equals 8p1 q2 plus 9P2Q1 over Q1, Q2. Now, P1, Q1, P2, Q2 are integers, so this is an integer, this product is an integer, this product is an integer, when we add them it's an integer, this is a product of two integers, it's an integer. So this is integer over integer. Therefore, rational. So this is a little more detail proving that this sum is rational. And you should ideally be able to do this. Um, you should be able to give me some kind of justification for the fact that the rationals are closed under addition and multiplication. If you add two rationals or multiply two rationals, you get a rational. <coughs> also, I'll mention that uh, you know 8 is a rational number because it could be expressed as 8 over 1. 9 is rational, it could be expressed as 9 over 1 in the form of a rational number. If you don't understand rational numbers, you should by this point. So, you know, review that a little bit. Uh, not necessarily before the exam, but uh, at some point, just part of general knowledge that everybody at this level should have, but maybe doesn't.